Dozens of parents pleaded with Wake County school leaders tonight not to move their kids. The school system held a public hearing on the latest plan to reassign nearly 2,000 kids. CBS 17's Michael Highland is live in Cary getting answers on whether anything will change. Michael. Some of the parents feel like the plans are unfair or they just don't even make sense. In one neighborhood, more than 100 families signed this petition urging the school board to rethink this. The changes in Wake County schools can take a big toll on families. Listen to Mindy Varkovicer getting tearful as she talks about the impact on her kids, especially her daughter. Now she will have to go to a new school that she doesn't know anybody on a different calendar from her, her siblings. And I just ask that Sorry, so emotional. Wake County recently rolled out a plan to reassign nearly 2,000 students. Most of the changes are to place kids at the new South Lakes Elementary and Willow Spring High Schools in Fuquay, Verena. But other families, like Sid Basu's, are set to move because of overcrowding. His child is supposed to go to White Oak Elementary in Apex, near their house, but instead would go to Salem Elementary, a year-round school about five miles away. And people that have multiple kids in different calendars, that's chaotic. So we haven't planned for that. He's concerned growth near Salem Elementary elementary could force them to move again later. You're worried this is not going to be the last change? It is not, and, and we're pretty sure, and the board members are sure, too. I asked school board chairman Jim Martin about that. What do you say to the parents who are concerned this could happen to them again relatively soon? Yeah, I mean, we have, since I've been on the board, we've had it, an, an absolute commitment that we don't move people, move school assignments more than once every three years. We haven't even come close to that. Despite criticism from some parents, he says the changes are not meant to be short-term fixes, but looking at changes Wake County will experience for years to come. It's not clear if the school board will approve any more changes to this plan based on what parents had to say tonight. A final vote is set for two weeks from tonight. Live and Carrie, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. Michael, thank you. It's been